Hey everybody, let's go ahead and start our workout as we always do with just a simple, nice, light jog in place. Okay, not bringing the knees up too high, wrap pumping those arms a little bit as well. Okay, we're not going too crazy because it's only the start of our warm up. So we're gonna go nice and easy, gonna ease into it and turn it up in just a little bit. Okay, folks, so in terms of that turning it up, we got a few more seconds here, and then all we're gonna do is our butt kickers. In three, two, one, I'm turning to the side here. You're getting your heels, you're kicking up and back. You're noticing I'm placing my hands behind me as well to give my heels a target to properly work those butt kickers. Five more seconds here though. We're gonna go ahead into our lateral hops in three, two, one. Bring those legs together and hop from side to side. Little small bounces. You can also go one leg at a time. Okay, just like this. But try, 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 and jog it out, guys. Back to that jog. There we go. Okay, so nice and easy here. Again, we're only beginning that warm up, our workout for today. So we're gonna go ahead and do another set of those butt kickers in three, two, one. Get those heels up and back. Get those heels up and back. Okay, guys, really work out those quad muscles, your thigh muscles. Work out those calf muscles there. A few more seconds. Locking those legs together, lateral hop in three, two, one, lateral hop, and lateral hop, guys, side to side, all right? Here we go, keep that going for a few more moments here. We're going back to our jog in three, two, one, slow it down here, slow it down, y'all. Okay, great job. So we're just getting started here. Let's go ahead and speed things up with our fast feet in place in three, two, one, move those feet nice and quick. Keeping those heels up and off the mats, guys, okay? Keep those heels up, work those uh, calf muscles here. Speeding it up, speeding it up, speeding it up. We're gonna be slowing it down. I want one prisoner squat and one jump squat in three, two, one. Hands by the sides of your head, down, up. Bring one knee up, bring the other knee up, down, up, and jump squat, okay? I'm gonna come up, knee up, knee up, drop it down again, and do a jump squat. So give me that one prisoner squat, bringing those knees up, and then bring me, give me that jump squat, okay, in between. If you can't do that jump squat, you have knee issues, you can certainly uh, do the standard, okay, or just continue the prisoner squat, you know, as per. This is your workout, your time, so modify as you need to, but it should always be challenging. A few more seconds here, guys. Just hold it low, low squat, hold it three, two, one, hold it low, guys, and pulse. You wanna be sure that those thighs are staying parallel to your floor, guys, okay? I understand if you gotta stand up, maybe kinda of stretch it out, but then bring it right back down again as soon as you can. In a few more seconds, you're gonna come up from that low squat hold and give me a front kick. Then squat again and front kick with the other leg. In three, two, one, come up on up. Front kick, down, up. Front kick with the other leg, okay guys? Nice and easy making sure that grounded leg is nice and balanced each and every single time. Take your time with those front kicks, bringing the knee up, getting that little crunch. Okay, folks, keep that going. Down, up, front kick, down, up, and front kick. A few more seconds here, folks. Then we're doing it again. You're gonna speed it on up from the top. We have those fast feet in three, two, one. Back to your fast feet. Okay, guys, there we go. Work those fast feet. Move them as quickly as you can, all right? Speeding it up. We're gonna slow things down again with that one prisoner squat and that one jump squat in three, two, one. Down, up, knee up, knee up, down, and jump. Okay, down, up, knee up, knee up, down, and jump. All right, a few more seconds here, guys. Get that oblique crunch, don't kind of, you know, Dude, don't get too sloppy. Try to keep that back straight as those knees are coming up. Just trying to beat them with the elbows. Okay, y'all, a few more seconds here. Then we're gonna go ahead into that low squat. Hold in three, two, one. Just drop it low, hold it low. Pulse, pulse, pulse if need be, guys. Okay, hang out there, catch your breath. Again, if you need to do a quick stretch, that's okay. Kind of flick those legs out, but drop it nice and low. You got about less than 10 seconds here. Before we go ahead, you're gonna come on up, we're gonna go into our squats with those alternating front kicks. In three, two, one, stand on up, front kick, drop it down, come on up, front kick again. Give me those squats with those alternating front kicks. 
You're doing amazing here. Take your time, guys. Okay, we're gonna be going into our ab set up next. So you're gonna give me those squats with the alternating front kicks. Got about five more seconds here. We're gonna drop it down, oblique. Guys, we're gonna work our obliques here with the Russian twist. In three, two, one, Russian twist. You're noticing my feet are up, but you can certainly do your feet down. But the most important thing here, guys, is we're twisting, we're turning. We're tapping the floor on either side, the left or the right, okay? That twisting motion will work out those abs. Continue to give me those Russian twists, guys. A few more seconds here, okay? Side to side, go fast, go slow. Kind of mix it on up if you need to. Again, work those obliques, okay? A few more seconds here. We're gonna go ahead, staying seated on our floor. We're gonna have our hands by our sides. You're gonna give me your oblique reverse crunches okay so you're going to kick those legs out when you bring them in twist okay you're bringing them into the right or the left okay nice and gentle out and in okay doing your best to not let your feet touch the floor okay just kick them out bring them in but add that twist to the right out and then in add that twist to the left a few more seconds here guys then i'm going to ask you all to lay down on your backs give me a hollow hold in three Two, one, just right into your hollow hold, everybody. Okay, hands by your sides or beneath your hips. Keep your shoulders off the floor. Point those toes, just keep those feet up. Look at your toes, all right? If you need to bring your knees in to your chest, you certainly may, but do your best, guys. Challenge yourself here. Keep those legs as straight as possible without letting your heels touch the floor. You're only here for a few more seconds, guys. Come on, hang in there. And then I want you to lift those legs up Work your toe touches in three, two, one. Bring those legs up. Again, we're trying to keep our shoulder blades from going completely flat on the mat. We're just pulsing up and down, reaching for those toes. I like to get a quick exhale as I reach up and then a quick inhale on my way back down. Okay, a few more seconds there, guys. And then all I'm gonna have you guys do is hold a plank. Elbow or palm is up to you. Let me go up to the palm here, or AKA my knuckles. I'm gonna hold that plank. Nice and steady, y'all. Okay, just hold it here. Very short intervals to start this next sequence off. Woo! All right, guys, so we're gonna add our spider knees next in three, two, one. Bring in that knee out to the side. Bring that knee into the side, okay? So guys, you could be doing the plank position from your palms or your elbows. This works from either planking position. I'm just showing you right there on the palm, but you can also do it from your elbows as well, adding those spider knees. I'll show you both variations during this next sequence. All right, a few more seconds here though. Keep adding those spider knees. We're gonna go into our in and out feet in three, two, one. I'll show you both versions. You can go both feet at the same time or one leg at a time. Same thing, if you're on your elbows, both feet at the same time, or one leg at a time. Entirely up to you guys, all right? So keep adding those. A few more seconds here, okay? Just go with those plank jacks, in and out feet. Same thing, moving, working it there. Try not to let the booty bounce too high. You wanna keep your core engaged during this particular exercise from our planking position, all right? But we're coming up to our palm plank, okay? We're gonna be working our Spider-Man push-ups, all right? In three, in two, and one. So here we're going. As we come down, we bring our knee to the same side, okay? Now, you can again do this um, from the knee as well, push-up from the knee. But I'd like to see everybody up on their toes for those spider knees, okay guys? So, Keep working those slow and steady. Okay, just a few more seconds here before we move on to the next. All right, we're bringing it back to that ab set. All right, so get your last Spider-Man push-up in. Go ahead and take a seat. We have those Russian twists in three, two, and one. Twist it out, side to side. Okay, and sometimes this works if you have a little small weight handy. Make sure you have a nice tight grip on it, okay? to go side to side, don't let it drop. Whenever you're doing any sort of exercise with any kind of weights, you are hanging on, you are not letting them drop. Okay guys, little safety tip there for you. 
Maybe a little bit of foreshadowing, perhaps, right? All right, a few more seconds here, guys. We're gonna go through those oblique reverse crunches in three, in two, and one. Kick them out, and then bring it in, twisting to one side, out and in, out and in. See? Nice and gentle, guys. Nice and easy, all right? Continue to kick those legs out, bring them in, add that twist. We're not letting our feet drop. So doing our best to not let our heels touch the floor here. Continue onwards, guys, onwards and upwards, right? That's what they say. A few more seconds. All I want you guys to do, lay down, extend out, hollow hold in three, two, and one. Hollow hold. Whew. All right, guys. Again, active rest. Just kind of hanging out, thinking about perhaps what you're gonna do after the workout. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are staying um, well nutrition, well hydrated, of course. A uh, few more seconds here though, in that hollow hold guys, and then we're gonna be going into our toe touches, okay? So hang in there. We're gonna slowly and gently bring our feet upwards and go right into those toe touches in three, two, and one. Legs up, and pulse, pulse, pulse. Try to touch those toes. Try to touch your toes. If you can, wonderful. But really guys, you're working that pulsing motion, trying to get up and reach and touch your toes each and every single time. Okay, a few more seconds here guys, keep that going, keep that going. We're gonna go into our plank position, we're gonna work that sequence again. So let's go ahead and plank it out, palms or elbows, up to you in three, two, one, here we go again. Okay, one more time from this position guys, just hang out here, you're gonna do this for a few more seconds, and then we're gonna be going into um, those spider knees. All right, let's get ready to add those spider knees. In three, two, one, add your spider knee. Okay, just one at a time. Again, from the palm or the knee, you're bringing those knees up and in, getting that crunch. And then go at your own pace. Always go at your own pace. You don't have to follow my pace, that's my pace. But your pace is your pace. Continue to work, challenge yourself. Don't let the body stop moving throughout. Okay. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna transition from those spider knees to those in and out feet from the plank position in three, two, one, here we go. Move them in, move them out. Move them in, move them out, or one leg at a time. Once more, this particular variation can be done from the palms or the elbow. It's entirely up to you. You'll notice a lot more though, if you are doing it from the elbow plank position, Try to keep that core really, really engaged. The booty's gonna wanna bounce a lot. So just go nice and easy, being very aware of where our hips and how they are moving up and down are. However, up next to the Spider-Man push-up in three, two, one. Here we are coming up now, guys. Work your Spider-Man push-ups, twisting and turning, okay? Try to make that happen at the same time or break it up into its components. Give me the push-up. Then give me the two spider knees, that's fine. Give me the push up from the knees or come to the toes. You know, again, variation, it's up to you. We're almost done though, guys, so keep on pushing. Gonna have you guys stand on up. We haven't done them yet. Let's do them. Burpee on out in three, two, one. Give me your burpees. Up, down, out, in and up. Rinse and repeat. You knew they were coming, guys. <laughs> Don't act surprised. Give me as many burpees as you can. Keep on pushing yourself, folks. We're almost at the end of our conditioning here for this particular workout. So let's go ahead, slow it down with your standard squats in three, two, one, slow it down and squat it out. All right guys, here for a few seconds. Use this slower exercise, keep it moving, but catch your breath during this time. We're gonna be speeding it up folks in just a little bit. We're gonna be going into our high knee jab cross sequence. So get a few more standard squats in, okay? Maybe a two or three or four. And we're gonna go ahead, stand on up, high knee jab cross in three, two, one, let's go. High knee jab cross, I'm moving quick. It's almost like a, you know, work the variation, stay balanced, it's a lot of coordination here. Go at your own pace, go at your own speed. All right guys, just a few more seconds here. We're doing that sequence one final time, y'all. So let's go ahead, slow it down, burpee on out in three, two, one. Back to your burpees, everybody. Give me your burpees. Add something to it if you like. Okay, add a push-up, add a touch-up, add that plank jack. Maybe the push-up is with the Spider-Man push-up. I don't know. 
Make it your own, guys. Okay, don't be scared of the burpees. The burpees should be scared of you because you're so badass. All right, a few more seconds here. Slow it down, squat it out in three, two, one. Slow it down, squat it out. Knowing that you have only one final exercise to do before we are done with our warm up. And hopefully you guys are all sufficiently warmed up right about now. So we're gonna finish strong, everybody. Let's put that exclamation point on our conditioning. High knee jab cross in three, two, one. Let's go, high knee jab cross. Move them nice and quick. Move them quick and fast. Keep going. Keep moving, guys. Faster, faster, faster. Make sure those arms are extending fully. Okay, about 70, 80% extension on your jab and your cross. Rotating those wrists as you have five, four, three, two, one. And time. Pat yourself on the back, guys. Good job with that workout, okay? Now you can go ahead, press pause, do your standard stretching, about five to seven minutes. Camera's gonna keep rolling over here. I'm just gonna step off screen. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my water, because again, who would I be if I didn't follow my own advice to stay hydrated, folks, okay? I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. Okay. Welcome back if you paused it. <laughs> but we are gonna get ready. We're gonna start things off with our first round. Three punches. It's our jab cross round to begin. Okay, everybody? So, gloves are on. You're in your fight guard stance. We have jab cross, drop it down, body cross, reset. Jab cross, drop it down, body cross. Okay, guys, make sure. I'm kind of sneaking in that squat there. When you're dropping down for that body cross, really bend your knees and come straight out, not forgetting to work your pivot when you're throwing your crosses. Jab cross, body cross. Stand on up, reset and repeat. Jab cross, body cross, all right? Now, if you have done these workouts before, you know the deal. At the end of the round, challenge yourself to do the exercise in between, okay? If always, you must stop and grab some water. Of course, do so. But Again, try to challenge yourself to do the exercise in between, all right? You're gonna keep continuing, jab, cross, body cross, reset. I'm gonna go to the side to give you a better view of how it is you should be doing when you're dropping down for that body cross. Jab, cross, okay, bring it down, body cross. Okay, stand on up. It should be visually where your own belly height is, okay? So I'm kind of bringing it down when I throw my body cross, I kind of know if I'm getting my proper squat position to go right into that, you know, belly. If you have a bag at home you're using, great. But if not, just make sure we're getting down into that proper squat position. Jab cross, body cross, jab cross, body cross, jab cross, body cross. All right, guys, a few more seconds here. Then we're gonna drop it down to your floor. We're gonna go into our bicycles in three, two, and one. Bring it down, hands by the sides of your head, twist and turn. Try to get that right elbow to point to the left knee. Your left elbow points to the right knee. Okay, keeping those feet up and off the mat. You're gonna keep one knee coming in towards your chest while the other leg is extending fully. Going at your own pace, going at your own speed. Pedal on out, everybody. Okay, a few more seconds for those bicycles. Get a last couple of those, those strokes in from left to right. Let's go ahead, stand on up. Go into your fight guard stance. Here is your next round, okay? Right hook, left hook, cross, reset, okay? Right hook, left hook, cross, and back. Make sure we're working those pivots on every single one of those punches. You got that right hook, keep that elbow bent. You got that left hook, and then again, make sure we're rotating our wrists. Your palms should be down at the end of that cross strike, okay? Come back to your face, reset, and repeat. Right hook, left hook, cross, and back. Right hook, left hook, cross, and back. All right, guys, have fun with it, okay? And if you even go off the combination every so often, as we are sometimes want to do, that's all right. Just get back to it, and then right into your right hook, your left hook, and that cross to finish it off. Three easy punches, y'all. Keep it going, keep it moving. Okay, maybe move around in place, you know, pivot off that lead foot. Okay, come on back, again. Right hook, left hook, cross, reset. Right hook, left hook, cross, and reset. Always bringing your hands back to your face. 
All right, you got about 30 seconds remaining for the combination, guys. Throw as many times as you can. If you're pivoting properly, you're also working those abs, working those obliques, guys. Okay, so keep it going. Right hook, left hook, cross, reset. Right hook, left hook, cross, reset. Keep that going, guys. A few more seconds here. Throw as many more repetitions as you can. Hook, hook, cross, and back. Hook, hook, cross, and back. Go ahead, get that last one in. Then we're gonna go into our Russian twist in three, two, one. Let's go ahead, sit down, guys. Russian twist it out. There we go. All right. So we're going from side to side. Probably a little bit more challenging with the gloves on, but why not? I know each and every single one of you is up for that challenge. So continue to Russian twist, guys. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Woo! You really should be feeling it on those abs right about now. So guys, come on out. Hurry up with those Russian twists. Just get those last few in. We're gonna go ahead, stand on up, come to your fight guard stance. Here's your combination for a kickboxing round. Number three, we have cross, jab, left up, right knee. Whoa, nice one here, guys. Off that back hand. Cross, jab, bring that left hand back. Okay, we have our left uppercut. When you come back, just step forward, bring that right knee up, reset and repeat. It is cross, jab, same side, left up, right knee, and back. On this side here, cross, jab, left uppercut, right knee, and reset. Give you another point of view. Cross, jab, bring it back, left uppercut, and then right knee, reset, and repeat. Cross, jab, left up, right knee. So right, left, left, right is the rhythm. Cross, start with the cross. Go to your jab, into your left uppercut. Finish it with the right knee. Come on back, guys, as many as you can. Cross, jab, left up, right knee, and back. Cross, jab, left up, and right knee. Looking good, folks. Keep that going. Add a little bit of hip thrust to that knee, or simply just kind of bring it up either way. It's a little bit more um, advanced, complicated to stay balanced when thrusting that hip forward, but try it. Okay, try it, there we go. A few more seconds, folks. Get that last set in. We're gonna be dropping it down. Our in-between exercise, once again, is the bicycle. Let's get ready in three, two, and one. Drop down, pedal out, pedal out. There we go. Work those bicycles, y'all. Twist and turn. Then maybe hold one side. Switch, switch. Switch, pedal out, pedal out, pedal out, pedal out, guys. Okay, keep working those bicycles. Whatever you do, do not stop. Or if you're grabbing that water, enjoy it, okay? Just a few more moments here to ride on out with me, guys. Continue to pedal, continue to pedal. We're getting ready to go into round four, okay? So, pedal out. Let's go ahead, stand on up. Here is your next round. Left hook, cross, cross. Left front kick, reset and repeat, okay? So, left hook to start, work that pivot. Come on back, I want a double cross. Resetting your hand each and every single time. Come on back, pick that left knee up, snap it out, bring it down, reset and repeat. Left hook, double cross, left front kick, bring it down, reset and repeat. Left hook, double cross, left front kick. Okay, from this side, left hook, double cross, left front kick, bring it down. Okay guys, over here, Left hook, double cross into that left front kick. Get that nice little snap there. Bring it forward, okay guys? Left hook, double cross, left front kick. Left hook, double cross, left front kick. All right, y'all? So left, right, right, left is the rhythm you should be well established in doing now, okay? Left hook, double cross into your left front kick and down and back guys. Left hook, double cross, left front kick. Almost there, keep it going guys. Left hook, double cross, left front kick. Okay, work those pivots on all of those punches, okay? Pivot and punch guys, almost synonymous, go together for most of our punches guys. All right, let's get ready however, to go into our oblique reverse crunches in three, two, one, go ahead, bring it down. Okay, your glove hands are by your side. Kick it out, bring it in and twist. 
kick it out, bring it in and twist, kick it out, bring it in and twist, kick it out, bring it in and twist. Okay, guys, going again, always at your own pace, your own speed. Okay, continue onwards with those oblique reverse crunches. All right, guys, keep on going. A few more seconds before we get into our next round. All right, folks. So get ready guys, get your last oblique reverse crunch in. Let's go ahead, stand on up for your next round. Here we go. Right knee, left knee, okay? Right up, left up, right hook, right? Two knees and three punches, all right? Here we go. Right knee, I step forward, bring my right foot down. Left knee, okay, I bring my left foot down. I reset to my stance, okay, folks? Really, really important there. Then I go right up, left up, right hook to finish it off. From this side, you have the right knee, you have the left knee, you come on back, up, up, hook, and reset, okay? Right knee, left knee, come on back, right up, left up, right hook, and reset. Okay, you're pivoting on all those punches as well. Maybe pausing some every so often to maybe check out those biceps, okay? Hopefully you're staying on those gains. You're going right knee, left knee, come back, right up, left up, right hook, reset, Okay, from this point of view, this angle, right knee, left knee, come back, right up, left up, right hook to finish it off. Okay, got about 30 seconds remaining for this combination, guys. Right knee, left knee, right up, left up, right hook. Right knee, left knee, right up, left up, right hook. All right, focus on that combination. Get as many more of that as you can do. Get them in, get them in. Okay, guys, right knee, left knee, up, up, hook. Love that combination. Love how it flows. Okay. Get ready, guys. We have our last in-between exercise to do. And that's right, guys. We have our bicycles. One last time in three, two, one. Drop down, pedal out. We've made it, guys. You made it through all these kickboxing rounds. Great job, everybody. Keep it going. Keep it moving, guys. Pedal, 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 pedal. Let's go ahead. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. And slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Okay, good job, guys. And back to whatever rhythm you are going for. We're getting ready to do our last and final kickboxing round, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead, stand on up. Here is your last round. Jab, cross, left hook, right front kick, and reset. Jab, cross, left hook. Bring that lead leg back, snap, pick it up for that right front kick. Reset and repeat. Over here, you have your jab, you have your cross, you got that left hook, okay? I slide my left foot back, right front kick, I reset and I repeat. Jab, cross, left hook, into that right front kick. Three punches, one kick, keep it moving, y'all, okay? Got less than a minute remaining for this combination, so continue to work that shadow boxing, guys. Okay, jab, cross, left hook, right front kick save your energy though okay folks because we do have that speed round where nobody can stop to get the water until the speed round is done but in the meantime jab cross left hook right front kick come on back jab cross left hook right front kick reset you're going left right left right essentially folks okay about 30 seconds remaining for the round keep pushing yourselves okay jab cross left hook right front kick Jab, cross, left hook, right front kick. Come on back. Jab, cross, left hook, right front kick. Reset and repeat. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, your speed round is fast approaching. It's on the horizon. I can see it. Keep going. Jab, cross, left hook, right front kick. And we're going to be going into our speed round right away. They are non-stop uppercuts in three, two, one. Uppercut, 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 uppercut. Okay, guys, you can see the proper form here. Keeping your elbows bent. Okay, no one should be doing this. We're not juggling here, guys. We're throwing those uppercuts. We're incorporating our pivots. We're turning on the balls of our feet, all right? Continue to work those uppercuts. Uppercut, 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 folks. You only have about 15 seconds remaining. Keep it going, keep pushing. Manage your pace, manage your speed. Maybe go for power. Maybe go for speed. Either way, we're going non-stop. Do not let those hands move. You have five, four, three, Two, one, and time. Great job, guys. I'm gonna go ahead, 
Remove my gloves, set it off. We have some final conditioning, as you always know, to finish off our workout for today. I'm grabbing some water. I'm going ahead. We're gonna go 10 seconds and then 20 seconds. 10 seconds and then 20 seconds. 10 seconds and then 20 seconds, guys, okay? So, first 10 seconds, let's get into our position. Back feet, here we go. Move those feet, move those feet. 10 seconds here, guys, all right? Move them as quickly as you can. All right, few seconds here. We're gonna go into our jump squats in three, two, one, jump squat it out. Jump squat it out, folks, keep on going. Of course, you can give me your standard squats. That's okay as well. Keep on working it here, guys. Give me those jump squats. A few more seconds here. The next 10 second set is coming up. They're gonna be jumping jacks in three, two, one, right into our jumping jacks, guys. Okay, swing those arms, swing those legs, bounce on the balls of your feet. Those are the jumping jacks, guys. Keep pushing yourself, all right? Just a few more seconds here. Keep going, keep pushing. We're gonna be going into our froggies in three, two, one, drop it low, jump out to your high palm plank, jump into your low squat hold. Jump out to your high palm plank, jump into your low squat hold. Keep that movement continuous, guys, okay? We're almost there. Get that last froggy in. We have our high knees in three, two, one. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Nice and high, guys, nice and high. We're almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's finish strong with, you guessed it, the burpee in three, two, one. Burpee out, burpee out, guys. See what I did there? Gave you the jump squats, gave you the froggies, and now full burpee. If you're doing those burpees, don't think about it, but I'll leave you a little gem. The jump squat and the frog, you're both the separate halves of the burpee. As you get those last burpees in, five, four, three, two, one. You're all number one. Woo! Catch your breath. Great job, everybody. Of course, go ahead, grab those waters. You can pause the video soon enough. Do that nice stretch, guys. Get that good stretch going after the workout is done. But we're gonna end our workout as we always do, bringing it down. I'm gonna count to three, two, one. Two bangs and a clap. Let's get ready, guys. Three, two, one. Awesome job, each and every single one of you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. See you next time.